passion and purpose are things that I know bring a lot of meaning and inspiration to my life. It also keeps me in a healthy mental state, so I feel a lot more productive, I'm a lot more happier. So here's how you can reignite your passion and your purpose so you can navigate your life and live with more meaning and purpose and inspiration. By the way, stay tuned until the end because I'm gonna share with you my favorite way that I reinvigorate, re-inspire, reconnect myself to my passion and my purpose. First thing, focus on what you can control. Whatever we pay attention to has an effect on our mental state. If we get caught up on things that are outside of our control, then naturally we feel like we can't do anything about it. And so we don't feel inspired to take action to do anything at all. The level that we believe that we can have an effect on our lives and the lives of other people that are around us reduces. The things that are outside of our control are things like what's happening in the news, in the media and whatnot. And I'm not saying don't be informed. Being informed is really important. And like obviously get your facts from reputable sources and find out what you connect with and chuck all the other random stuff away that you don't need to be paying attention to. But what I am saying is, is I want you to focus on things that you can control. Be focused on what you can control because those are the things that if you pay attention to them, you can see what's wrong, how you can make it better and actually feel inspired to act. The second thing and one that I really love and has been really helping me a lot recently is journaling. Journaling is a great way to explore thoughts, feelings, ideas, and plan for the future. It's also a fantastic way to reconnect with our purpose, why we do what we do. And when we do this, we can become extremely dynamic. Personally, when I'm connected to my purpose, I feel a lot more motivated, a lot more inspired, and I'm just, just happier in general. I've also found journaling to really help me when my mind's buzzing with ideas, thoughts, and feelings. And just getting it out on paper helps me stand apart from those things that I've written down. I recently bought this little notepad from Muji and it's like, it's just been amazing. Like I've been using it the past few days and it's been a real lifesaver. I feel like with the whole lockdown in Melbourne and everything, my emotions have been kind of all over the place and the future has been really uncertain. Um, and so I found that when I write in the morning, I write down how I'm feeling in my body, my mind and my spirit. And when I write those down, it allows me to separate myself from what's actually going on in my mind. It's almost like a brain dump in a way. And so it allows me to clear my mind. And when I've got a clear mind, I can better focus on the work that I want to do at home. Get yourself a journal. I actually have two. I actually have one that I use at night for introspection and I have this one that I use almost for like a personal introspection in the morning that's kind of just setting in like an intention and reflection for the day. And number three, the best way that I've found to reinvigorate myself, I feel like this works for me the best and that is to study people who inspire you. Read, listen and watch the stories of these people that inspire you, look at their greatness, and most importantly, look at the challenges that they overcame to get their success, to get their greatness, to get to where they are at. When I do that, it makes the tough times seem almost a novelty in a way, and almost like a pleasure to be going through. It sounds weird, but let me explain. An example of a story that I'm really connecting with recently is one about Neeraj Chopra. He recently won a gold medal in the Olympics. He threw a javelin 87.58 meters. And after he won it, one of his tweets went viral from a few years ago. I believe it's written in Hindi and in English, this translates to, when the desire for success keeps you awake at night, when nothing appeases you more than hard work, when you don't feel fatigued after continuous work, know that a record for success is imminent. Like that's inspiring. Like how could you know that he wrote that three years ago and then like he wins the gold medal and it's it's like, like, like even now as I'm, as I'm like talking about, I'm like, like I just wanna, you know, I just wanna, yeah, work hard, you know? And so like it makes, I suppose for me, it makes the tough times, the difficult times when you don't see much success, when you've been patient and you've been working hard, it makes it seem like, no, those are really important days and those are the days that count. Because one day when like it all comes together and all your effort will finally pay off, it's like, like you're really grateful that you went through those tough times because it made you 
cherish those moments you were struggling and most importantly cherish your success because you know what it took to get you that and like yeah that's kind of how i feel right now about putting in the effort and putting in hard work i also feel like by listening to other people's stories it's like as if we know that they are ordinary humans that have just managed to achieve extraordinary things and so we are also ordinary humans and we also have the capacity to achieve extraordinary things. If they can go through the struggle, the pain, the confusion, then I can go through that and make it out on the other end, just like them. So yeah, that's three ways that you can reunite your passion and your purpose. By the way, if you are feeling like you are in a bit of a rut, I've made a video over here. Go check that out. It's a really, it goes through a few simple ways that you can kind of just pick yourself back up again. I'm sending you a lot of love and a lot of power in these difficult times. If you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Much love and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.